Right, so I thought I'd have a quick chat about whether you're holding your pick properly. And um, if you're not holding it properly, maybe you need one of these. Now seriously though, um, some people struggle with a pick. In fact, I've heard a lot of people say that they hate using them, yeah? And it's usually just because they're not really holding them properly. Now, some tunes that you play sound a lot better with your fingers. And some, it's really beneficial to use a pick for. Um, these are my go-to <coughs> pick, and it's a Dunlop, Jim Dunlop Jazz 3. Um, I just find that they have a nice tone, they're firm enough, that they're easily controlled. They've got a good tone on the electric, particularly on the electric, but they're, they're good on acoustic as well. Um, sometimes on an acoustic guitar, a lighter pick can sound good. Um, a Herco Flex 50 is an awesome sounding pick on an acoustic guitar. <coughs> Pardon me. But something to be wary about about using a pick that's too light on an acoustic is that you get away with too much flippity flappity sound as they flippity flap across the um, fretboard. I haven't actually got a really light pick in front of me here, which is a bit of an oversight. But anyway, so if you can imagine, if you've got the really flexible pick and it's flippity flappity, you don't actually have to, it doesn't prompt you to use good technique. So really what good technique is, especially say when you're strumming a guitar, is that you're going to let the pick glide across this way and glide across that way. Now that involves changing changing the angles and changing the direction of the hand or changing the, the way the hand's interacting or, or causing the pick to interact with the strings. Yeah, so I'm sloping it down this way and up this way. So if we, I'm just going to refer to the, um, let's see, the different planes of movement of, of a pick. So here's the pick flat against the string. I don't know if you can see that. Here's a bit flat against the string. This is a forward tilt, and this is a downward slant. So the tilt goes this way. So I've got one edge of the pick against the string. And the slant goes this way. So if I was strumming down, that would be a perfect way to strum down with the pick. And if I want to strum up, I want to really change it. So it, it, it um, has a nice glide as it come up. Now, here's the problem <coughs> with um with with the way that I think that some people hold the pick. They'll seem some people struggle with it. I'm gonna grab a bigger pick for a minute, and um, just you might be able to see it a little bit better. So the way I usually hold a pick is I place the pick against my thumb, and then I have my finger curl around, and um, and hold the pick like that. Yeah. So you kind of see that if you're looking down on it. And that's how your finger's going to engage with it. And at that point, you've got a lot of a lot of ability to to move the pick this way and that way. However, if you were to hold the pick, say not so much on the side of the finger, but if you're using the flat of the finger, what tends to happen is people get to here and they'll rack the pick out like that, and that's going to cause a string to ping out and sound pretty dang harsh, yeah. So Everything's subjective and everybody's hands are different and everybody's fingers are slightly different and so things are going to be slightly different for everybody but a common a common thread I've found with people is that they are having trouble holding a pick or are having these panging out sort of noises as the pick clangs onto the strings that holding it between the thumb and the finger curled up like that allows a lot a lot more mobility um, it allows a lot more maneuverability between the tilting and the slanting and the overall gliding and gentle smooth changing of direction of the hand yeah so that you haven't got the pick just bashing into the strings and creating an awful ruckus so hopefully if anybody out there that's watching this is having trouble holding the pick that might be a little bit helpful for them otherwise I think you can get these down the local dollar shop, you know, and try chances with that, yeah.